Hello everybody, this is part 3 of second order linear differential equations. At this section, we are going to work on repeated roots and reduction of order. Our homogeneous equation is again in the a y double prime plus b y prime plus c y equals to zero form. And we are going to convert this homogeneous equation into characteristic equation as our first step. And we're going to obtain quadratic function here. We're going to solve for r1 and r2, our two roots, and we're going to put it in the form of our general solution here, which is c1 e to the r1t plus c2 t e to the r2t. And if you differentiate this general solution y of t, you obtain y prime of t using product rule here. And when you plug in the initial conditions given, you can solve for c1 and c2. Let's work on the real example. We have y double prime plus 6y prime plus 9y equals to 0. We're going to convert this into our characteristic equation. So r squared plus 6r plus 9 equals to 0. If you factor out this trinomial, you obtain r plus 3 times r plus 3. And if you solve for r, you obtain r1 and r2 equals to negative 3. So now we know our r1 and r2 that we can plug into our general solution. So y of t will be equal to c1 e to the negative 3t plus c2 t e to the negative 3t. And in this general solution, now we can apply the first initial condition y of 0 equals to 10. So 10 equals to c1 e to the negative 3 times 0 plus c2 0 times e to the negative 3 times 0 because here our t variable is 0 and our y of t is 10. Here 0 times anything here cancels out. e to the 0 is 1, c1 is equal to 10. Now using the second initial condition we can solve for c2. Our second initial condition was y prime of 0 equals to 8. Here our t variable is 0 and our y prime of t is equal to 8. So 8 is equal to our r1 is negative 3 and our c1 we found it 10. e to the negative 3t plus c2 we don't know e to the negative 3t plus negative 3 c2 0 times e to the negative 3t. And here, wherever we see t is 0. Here, this term is cancelled because 0 times anything is 0. e to the 0 is 1 times c2 is c2. e to the 0 is 1 and 1 times negative 30 is negative 30. Here, if you solve for c2 by adding 30 on both sides, you obtain c2 as 38. Now we have our c1 and c2 that we can plug into our general solution. So y of t is equal to c1 e to the negative 3t plus c2 which is 38 times t e to the negative 3t. So this is our answer. Let's continue with reduction of order. Our differential equation is in the form of p of t y double prime plus q of t y prime plus r of t y equals to zero. In the previous section, our p of t, q of t and r of t were the constants a, b and c. Real roots, complex roots, and repeated roots. We were using the form a y double prime plus b y prime 
plus cy equals to 0. So our p of t, q of t and r of t were the constants. In this section, reduction of order, our p of t, q of t and r of t are not constants. And these kind of differential equations can be much more difficult to solve comparing to constant coefficient differential equations. However, if we know one of the solutions, like y1 of t, then we can find y2 of t and the general solution using reduction of order. Let's work on the real example step by step. Our example is t squared y double prime plus t y prime minus 2y equals to 0. And our t is greater than 0. It's a positive number. And given y1 of t is 1 over t. In reduction of order, the idea is y1 of t is given and we're going to guess y2 of t as a product of some function times y1 of t. And from here we're going to solve for v. That's our aim. So our prep will be take the derivative of this, add second derivative of this, and the idea is to plug them in our original problem to be able to solve for v. So we can rewrite this as instead of v of t, let's use v, but v is not the constant here, it's just a function. For easy computation, we call it v. And instead of y1 of t, let's write t to the negative 1, because 1 over t is t to the negative 1. Now we're going to take the derivative of this. Derivative of this is the product rule. v prime times t to the negative 1 minus v t to the negative 2. Now we're going to take the derivative of this again, which we are going to apply product rule two times. So it's going to be v double prime t to the negative 1 minus v prime t to the negative 2 from the first product minus if we take the product of this, the derivative of the first one times the second, plus first one times the derivative of the second. And if you distribute the negative sign inside, you obtain v double prime t to the negative 1 minus v prime t to the negative 2, negative v prime t to the negative 2, plus 2v t to the negative 3. And you can combine the like terms. Now we have second derivative, we have first derivative, and we have the function y2. Now we're going to plug them in our original problem. Now derivatives plugged in the original problem. Our problem is 2t squared y double prime, so we place here second derivative, plus t y prime, so we place here the first derivative, minus 3y, so we place here y of t. And if we distribute carefully, then we obtain t squared times t to the negative 1 is t, 2v double prime t, minus 4v prime t to the 0 plus 4v t to the negative 1 plus v prime minus v t to the negative 1 minus 3v t to the negative 1. So when you're distributing, the powers of t adds. So if you combine the like terms here, this is this is and that is the like term. So negative 1, negative 3 is negative 4 and positive 4 cancels out. At the end of distribution, v terms are vanished.
if you're not losing the V terms here, either you did the derivatives wrong or you did the distribution wrong. Something went wrong with your algebra if V term is not vanishing. So, so far here, we found the derivatives of Y, first derivative, second derivative. We plugged in the original problem. We simplified and we obtained to V double prime T minus negative 4 and positive 1. They are the like terms. So 3 V prime equals to 0. Now we have first order ordinary differential equation. This is separable equation. So we can solve for V here. But first we're going to apply change of variable. So let W be equal to V prime. Then the derivative of W will be Y double prime. So this is our dW dt. Now let's write everything in terms of W. So we have 2T W prime equals to, and this is our W, so we can take it to the other side of the equation as positive. And instead of W prime, we can write dW over dt. Now, if we multiply both sides by dt, we obtain 2t dW equals to 3w dt. We would like w term on left hand side and t term on the right hand side. So we divide both sides by 3w and 2t simultaneously. So we obtain one third w to the negative 1 dw equals to 1 half t to the negative 1 dt. Now we can integrate. Integral of 1 over w is ln of w. And integral of 1 over t is ln of t. Now using the logarithmic rules, we can bring this as the power of w and we can bring this as the power of t and we know that e to the ln of x is equal to x whatever this argument is so we can take to the e on both sides and our argument is w to the one third equals to t to the one half plus c and we are solving for w so we can multiply both sides by the power of 3 over 1 and we can bring c in front of t so w is equal to c t to the 3 over 2 this is our w w was v prime so if w is v prime then we can solve for v here by integrating one more time integral cancels the derivative so v is equal to here we can apply the integration rules add 1 to the power and divide it by the power dividing by 5 over 2 is multiplying by 2 over 5 and this is going to be 5 over 2 this is our v this is our v of t And we have plus k here as in the repeated root case we can pick up c value and k value arbitrarily whatever we want to eliminate the extraneous roots so here we arbitrarily pick c as 5 over 2 so we can cancel out this and we can pick k as 0 so our v of t will be equal to t to the 5 over 2 at the beginning, we said that y2 of t is equal to v of t times y1 of t. And our v of t is t to the 5 over 2. And our y1 of t is given as t to the negative 1. If we do this multiplication by adding the powers, 
we obtain t to the 3 over 2. Now we know our y2 value and y1 value. So we can make up our general solution. Our general solution is y1 of t plus y2 of t. So it will be c1 t to the negative 1 plus c2 t to the 3 over 2 as our general solution to this reduction of order. So here is the general idea for reduction of order. At the beginning we have non-constant coefficients equation and our y1 of t is given. So we guess y2 of t as v of t times y1 of t. So we prepare the derivative and the second derivative of y2 of t which was v times whatever the initial given y1. And then after we prepare the derivatives we plug in original equation. We distribute and simplify carefully and we get rid of v term as a result and we obtain some v double prime plus v prime kind of term and we apply change of variable and turn it into first order ordinary differential equation and then we apply ordinary differential equation techniques it could be separable integrating factor etc so this is the guideline that you need to follow for reduction of order